uh, we moved on to making boats like this. So this is where we do the fatigation trials. So I'm standing right, right on a sump and we fill the sump with bore water and then there is a 3 HP submersible pump right inside uh, the sump. And this is where the actual panel assembly uh, takes place. Uh, like I said before, uh, we do all this under one roof because we wanted to ensure the best quality uh, in this product. And uh, we wanted to make sure uh, every Grotron product that gets into any form is of the highest possible standard. In terms of just building the motherboards themselves, I will show you how we evolved. This is the very first version of a hand-soldered uh, motherboard, very basic motherboard, not much of functionalities. And then, once that POC was successful, we, we tried making them into this. And uh, then we also tried making one like this. And after all these efforts, this was the first commercially launched uh, motherboard. I mean, uh, first motherboard that went into a commercially launched product. And this has basic capabilities of sensing the soil's uh, moisture and uh, the temperature of the soil and also the ambient temperature and uh, ambient humidity. And, and yet operate four valves. So that is a limited capability this motherboard had. And then we evolved into the second version. So basically, there is no big functional difference between the first and the second version, except that we made some ease of use. I mean, uh, in the first version, uh, everything had to be screwed in. And uh, in the second version, most of the connections can be just plugged in. And uh, we increased some sensing abilities. Um, we were also able to make some fine adjustments in the, in the uh, battery. We were able to make the battery live much longer than what it was in the version 1. And then came version 3. In fact, version 3 we just launched uh, in July 2023. So the difference is that uh, uh, for the batteries in the version 2, it was you'll have to tie it up and now we have battery holders. And the electronics was completely revamped to be more efficient, more power efficient and uh, incorporate many more operations than the version 1. For example, this one can do uh, 2 EC and 2 pH uh, sensing. And uh, similarly, we developed a board, uh, this, particularly this is uh, uh, the one that will be in the field, uh, connecting two valves and uh, many sensors. The number of sensors ability was increased in the current version, version 3. Uh, so the version 3 sensing ability is far more than that of uh, version 2. And uh, the battery life has been increased so much that in our uh, testing environment, uh, one fully charged battery was able to work continuously for about 14 and a half days. And we expect in real time, um, once it is installed in the farm, when it is exposed to uh, sunlight and heat, uh, it should still be around at least 6 to 7 days. So as part of building of version 3, we came out with uh, many uh, boards. This is a energy monitor and uh, uh, this can, this is actually meant for uh, ultrasonic sensing. And if you can see this, uh, we made a modular board. So a lot of wiring has been avoided because of this. And the objective, uh, why we made almost uh, all the connections screwless, is because we, we want to uh, take this as a do-it-yourself kit in the near future. Therefore, uh, most of, uh, if not all, most of them have uh, no screwing at all. In fact, um, I just now noticed that there is absolutely zero screwing. It is only uh, push-in type. Therefore, do-it-yourself is a possibility with this version and we will um, uh, shortly uh, experiment with do it yourself with a few farmers and if that succeeds uh, that is what we are going to do in the future and this is also part of the version 3 but this is a low cost uh, version and which is why you can see all of them are still um, uh, have screwed connections there's a huge cost difference between uh, screwed and the push type which is why for the low cost we retained uh, the screwing types uh, while when we started off, like I said, this is, what, this is how we did hand soldering. But then later, uh, we moved on to 
making boards like this uh, for experiments. And uh, sometimes like this also, large boards we build for experiments. So this is where we do the fetigation trials. So I'm standing right, right on a sump and we fill the sump with bore water and then there is a 3 HP submersible pump right inside uh, the sump. And what you see behind is a fetigation unit uh, trial. So we are basically developing now a low cost fetigation machine. Uh, so what you see is towards that and in fact this is um, actually fitted with the uh, uh, ultrasonic sensing and uh, uh, also blower to mix uh, the tanks. Uh, so every fertigation machine that has uh, uh, come out of Grotron, uh, gone to the market, has basically originated from this spot. So this is a PCB assembly area. Let's see this. So this is where we keep the components and uh, you take the components from here and place it in the pick and place machine and the machine will actually keep all the components uh, on the board. Now we'll see how it is done. Uh, this is a, a paste session. So he's going to apply paste on this board and then keep it on the pick and place machine. So now all the components have been placed. So we'll take this board and keep it in the oven. Now the fully soldered board is coming out of the oven. Okay. So we saw the uh, PCB assembly in the ground floor. And this is where the actual panel assembly ta takes place. Each motherboard goes through a functional testing and for each motherboard there are different test bits and this is one of those. So he is going to actually test one of the boards that was just assembled. A lot of, lot of people have questioned us why uh, do we operate from a residential place. Actually this is a, a residential converted into commercial building. Uh, we were looking for a commercial space when we uh, actually came here but then somehow we got this place and we started li liking this place because it has a small uh, plot where we can try. So there are eight beds here so what we do is we use these beds to grow some crop uh, in precision farming methods and uh, on one hand we try to improve the precision uh, farming itself. Uh, by the observations that we get in this place and uh, second we also use the same inputs to enhance our products also. So it's a good place where we have the building people and also a place to experiment right uh, in the office. So we saw how our patented technology which is Grotron uh, is getting designed, developed and uh, produced in-house and also assembled and tested in-house. Uh, like I said before, uh, we do all this under one roof because we wanted to ensure the best quality uh, in this product and uh, we wanted to make sure uh, every Grotron product that gets into any form is of the highest possible standard. I hope this video would have given you an idea about uh, the best quality that we try to maintain on uh, every Grotron product that we manufacture and take it to market. And if you did find this video useful in any way, uh, please do share this with your friends and if you would like to get immediate notification of any video that we upload in the future, do subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much and see you in another video shortly.